Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. First of all, if you are new here, I post a new book review almost every day, so if that sounds interesting and you're looking for a little bit of reading inspiration, feel free to stick around. Now let's talk about the book that I'm going to be reviewing today. That is Double Star by Robert A. Heinlein. So Double Star I read in this science fiction collection, American Science Fiction, five classic novels, 1956 through 1958. This was just the format the library had the book I was looking for, so this is part of five classic novels in one collection and the only one I read was Double Star by Robert A. Heinlein, so the cover is a little misleading because I didn't read everything in here. I just read Double Star this one here. I was specifically looking for this because this novel was the 1956 winner for the Hugo in the category of best novel and I have set a challenge for myself to read the winners and shortlisted finalists in the best novel and best novella category for the Hugos. I'm working from the lists that are on Wikipedia for this challenge. So I have set this challenge for myself. This was next on the list and I wanted to read it. So I found this collection which had the book I was looking for in my library and this is what I'm working from. When I first started reading this novel I was a little skeptical. The premise is that there is an actor who's down on his luck and at the beginning he's like in this bar meeting a contact and then there's a break-in at his hotel room and then someone winds up dead and I just wasn't really following where this was going but the premise they get to the premise and the premise is that a politician has been kidnapped and the actor needs to play this politician in order for things to continue to run smoothly in the government and the actor needs to learn to do this quickly and he's going to be paid a handsome sum if he's able to do this. Now our actor, our main character, is down on his luck and he decides to take it. He actually agrees before he knows all the details and then it's too late to back out and it is the rest of the story is him acting the part of the politician while trying not to mess up to let things continue on their way. I do have to say um Probably about 50% of the way through the book or maybe even a little less maybe like 40% of the way through the book I feel like I figured out what the twist was going to be and I was right I did guess what the ultimate twist was going to be on in this story but that didn't ruin it for me because as a reader I was really focused and interested in seeing how the actor was going to come all these different challenges in his acting role of being this politician the different things that might come up the challenges he might have and how he's learning and acting to be this person he's never met and didn't pay too much attention to before and now has to impersonate in a very passing way on a very public stage. I feel like the reader's attention is captivated the entire time. Well, with the exception of that little part at the beginning that I was less sure of. And once I got into the story, I read it all the way through. So I do admit the first part is a little dull, but push through until you get to the part where the actual story starts taking place. And then um, Heinlein really cap captures you. He has his hook in you and you read the whole story and are interested in the result. Another thing, I liked about this book and that is something that I've noticed in or something that relates to something I've noticed in the other Hugo Award winners from this time is the women. So we're dealing with books that won Hugo Awards in the 1950s. Um, I'm also reading the novellas. They also were dealing with books that were winning novellas, novellas that were winning Hugos in the 1960s and society was different back then. Not saying society was necessarily right, but society was a little different when it came to its treatment of women or the things women were allowed to do. So it makes sense that authors looking at the world would have developed a sense of what women are like, just based on their experience. This is the kind of stuff that I am genuinely, generally pretty forgiving about when it comes to authors who are writing in this time, just because I understand they grew up differently with people who acted differently and social expectations were different. If this book was written now, I'd be coming a lot, coming down a lot harder on the depictions of women in these books. Again, this was the 1956 winner, so it does bear noting that this came in, out in the 1950s. But this is actually a positive because I'm usually not expecting very strong or well-written women in this, these books. And the woman in this book, Penny, isn't necessarily the best woman I've ever written or I've ever read in sci-fi or fantasy, not by a long shot. In fact, she's pretty weak compared to most women that are written in books today, but she is not as bad as a lot of the other books that I have read. So I really have to give Heinlein credit where credit's due in the fact that he was kind of thinking a little bit more outside the box than some of the other authors I've read from this time. If you watch my reviews on any of the other Hugo Award winners, you're definitely definitely going to know what I'm talking about because I pointed out in basically every single one, hey, the women are very 
very weak. They're very poorly written. They're very one-dimensional and they just kind of act like props throughout the story. It's not really convincing or believable for a modern reader to read this character. But in this one, we don't have as much of that, <clears throat> excuse me, characterization that is present in the other Hugo Award winners. So I do have to give Heinlein credit where credit is due. Heinlein is a giant in the field. He has 12 nominations and six wins for Hugos, at least according to the um, Wikipedia, Wikipedia article. And I believe that was just for the best novel category. I don't know if he's won things in the, in the novella category or any other category. So he clearly has a lot of influence in the field. And I definitely can see this. The book was well written. It was interesting. The characters were well written. Even the women, which is a, um, a thing to credit, or at least the women were written for a book written in the 1950s, were well written for a book written in the 1950s. And I think it was a solid chance. Now, a solid contender for this award because I enjoyed it. Now, I haven't read everything else in the 1956 category. I haven't read the runner up, so I do not know if this is the best out of all the ones that were nominated, in my opinion. But so far, I think it has a chance. It was interesting, kept my attention, and I enjoyed reading it. If you have read Double Star, by Robert A. Heinlein. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. And you will be seeing this book again because the 1958 winner was The Big Time by Fritz Leiber. And Fritz Leiber has the other, another book, or The Big Time by Fritz Leiber is in this collection as well. So you will be seeing this collection again from me when I review that book. But for now, I'm going to return this book to the library, let other people who want to read this collection read this collection, and I will get this out when it's time to continue my Hugo Award journey in the 1958 era time period I guess you could say let me know your thoughts and opinions on this book I would love to hear it otherwise thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest